What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to run off of the last time, um, we had a couple of major battles against the Ottomans in Venice, which we managed to win, and we also had a reversal in Turin, which was a shame because I'd very much like to have killed them. Um, not that it matters too much because we've still got still at war with France, so we're still going to be suffering a bit, even if we do take Turin because of that open border. Let's try peace with France again. I like to think at some point they'll just accept it because... Nope. No. What about just peace and trade? Nope. Not giving you away in Naples because Naples is actually quite a valuable region to me. It's worth almost two grand of tax a turn. More than, it's worth more than Rome is. Um, but yes, I do need to keep spending money and advancing. So we're going to get about 7,000 next turn. Which we can do a hell of a lot with. We could expand, or when I eventually take Turin, um, I could send, I could take those, I could send an army west. Like I so said, taking Paris would be very useful. Taking Madrid would be very useful. Obviously I need to, obviously I need to rebuild Venice, actually. That's going to be my first, first objective. But yeah, I want and I need another school. Because right now, it's just... It's a real mess. Well, it's not, it's not a mess. Everyone else is just teching up much faster than I am. Which will start to come against me when I've got things like... Um, I'm against things like quick liming, howitzers and such. Let's just build, build another tech on another two units of infantry. You guys need another two grand to fully resupply. Let's upgrade the state capital or repair the state capital. Don't spend this on building the artillery building. I suppose I do. Let's so just build another artillery piece. So I could make this a school here, but I need to get this foreign occupation down. And they also need to make everyone a lot more damn happy. Let's try if we, see if we can make peace and trade with the Ottomans. Because frustratingly, the easiest place to attack them would probably down be down here at Patras. Like, I don't know if I would immediately push straight into Central Europe like this, because it exposes me to lots of funky nations. Bavaria. If I could trade, I'd like to trade with you. Although, actually, this is Austrian territory. Um, hmm. Still. Not a lot we can do there. Let's rebuild. Let's get this fifth back over to Syracuse for the rest of my ships. Let's hit end turn again. So the question is... Do I go for Madrid or do I go for Paris? And I want to say Madrid. Because it feels like I could send an army to Madrid. And take it out and convert it really quickly. I mean it's kind of thankful. Well, hey look they've moved a stack out. That's handy. Um, it's handy that we're all Catholics, so we know, we both know we can, um, you know, I won't have population, I won't have issues with religion. Or do I do sort of the near abroad approach? Do I go take out, take out the islands? Well, no, I think I'd go, I try and take out a, a major power. That's what I think I do. Spain would be good to take out, or I could land. No, I'd have to land at Madrid and then go attack Lisbon and Gibraltar from land. If I attacked Morocco, yeah, it's all La Vittoria in Nostra. It, so those are rebels that spawned during the presence of the Ottomans, so they're not. They've not got problems with me. Let's rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. So if I built a school. 
Not I can. It reduces happiness by four. Actually, let's check my ministers. I haven't done that for a few turns yet. I might have an absolute cracker. This guy's good at treasury because he's plus one management. He's plus five treasury, but our guy in there is pretty... One, two, three. He's plus six, so I don't really want to change him. Mm. Meh, don't really want him. Nope. Plus one army, plus one treasury. Nope. And you've been here for a long time, but my justice is really good. No one else I can trade with. I keep checking because my ports, I know they've been they have been growing. I can upgrade this to a commercial port, but I've not. Uh, I really should. Once this army's re re replenished. Hmm. Possibilities. The possibilities. But if I can go take Madrid, that would be. Especially as it gives me somewhere to fall back on. If the, the Ottomans do something a bit sneaky in. Oh, hello. Yeah, the Ottomans haven't given up. Not by a long shot. Which is kind of what makes it so tempting. I take my army once I've taken Turin and send them to somewhere like Patras or Cairo or somewhere to open up another front with the Ottomans. Cairo might be good because Cairo's got lots of towns but I need to build, I need a priest to come over with me almost immediately to start converting. I do see those Ottoman troops coming down from the pass towards Bavaria. I do see them sneaking their way along. Okay, some utilitarianism. Okay, we've got lots of stuff we can build. So I might build a commercial port to get Naples to grow more. Governor's Pass would be great. You're all still replenishing. Get a lot of, we can get marines here, which is cool. I can see them coming. They're just azars, but just mean that just means they're frustrating. Let's build a general, Ciro Bellucci. Go and just put them under siege for now. Assedio in corso. You can probably look for two regiments of horse for support. Don't want to do anything here. Well, I might want to build this into a church school. Well, no, then again, it'd probably be better to build a church school in somewhere like Cairo that's already got lots of towns. So it's got... There's three. So I'd keep the Turkish bath. I'd, oh, no, it's got two. And Jerusalem's a poor region. I'm not so bothered about that. I mean, Istanbul's great. Would be a good one to take. But bear in mind, this guy's creeping up. Don't bother with carbines. Start to go after some of these cheap industrial techs. Especially as I'll have a few towns that can take advantage of it. Let's build a unit of expat infantry. Because you never know where I'm going to need to redeploy men. It would be tempting to take Patras, because then I could take Athens, which is valuable as well. I'd say Morocco rebelled and Spain took it over again. But then again, Spain takes so many boxes because it's a Catholic region. People will be okay with it. I'll have a university there. You know, it takes so many boxes. So I think that's. In the short term, that's where I go. I try to take the Iberian Peninsula and then try and... What is tempting, actually, is if I don't spend anything for two turns, I can build walls in, in um, Venice. Which means 
peace with New Spain. Yes, finally. Jesus. <laughs> we, <laughs> we've been at wars as the style of the game and we've had no interaction at all apart from that. That was... That's the, that's the rid most ridiculous engagement ever. Yeah, I think it's got to be... It's got to be Madrid. So many ports as well. So if I don't... Oh, it's only 3,000. That's probably because of my military spending. And everyone's blockaded. Let's march them up. So if I don't spend anything for a few turns, I can drop walls down here, which means this army can suddenly be my defending army against the Ottomans from the east. And let's tax you guys. 3,000. Okay, in turn again. We're just looking for that. That sweet, sweet turn where suddenly we'll have lots of um, lots of our trade ports will be open. That and the the, the um, Spanish ports would give me access to the. So, but again, Italian presence in Cuba, Santo Domingo. But they get end up getting about three ports, which is international trade going on to help support my wars against the infidel invader. Yeah, it's got to be Madrid. So, save up a few turns. Save up for a few turns. Um, get walls building. Swap the armies around. My main army goes west to hit Madrid. And then get ready to um, build some of the small splinter armies to go and intercept marauding Spanish forces well that's not great who can we trade with instead then i mean i'll trade i'll try trade with you again usually that, that that usually suggests they want to go to war okay seven thousand i think four and a half grand is enough to do it Fully replenished. No. Let's hold on. They'll try and sally out to try and uh, protect themselves Avanti. soon Avanti. enough. Avanti. So we'll soon have Turin. Then we can march our army over to go hit Madrid. So knock out Spain. Spain's got four territories. So they've got Morocco, Tangier. They've got Lisbon and they've got Sardinia. So in the end, it will be in our interests to try and eradicate them. Are you? No, you're not. <laughs> ah. Yeah, usually when a country like that just suddenly declares war, you not declares war, when they start cancelling trade agreements and then refusing to take them back, it usually means they're going to declare on you. Actually, I might go see if I can trade with Mexico or New Spain. That might be a good idea. Good. Naples is a commercial port. Oh, damn it. Just short. But I can't trade with anyone anyway. So don't carry on with that. Instead, go on and get Spinning Jenny. Not that it's going to provide a huge amount to us because we've only got one Weaver's Cottage and the rest of them are all... Not two Weaver's Cottages. So yeah, I could build an Imperial Palace, but... Nope, I want to wait one more turn. Another turn of trying to... Why do you want Naples? See, look how much technology they've got. So much industry. 
and naval stuff as well. They do have some chaff in there. They do have carbines and improved grenades. I think the grenades are mostly just training levels. Plus one command. No, and it gives you Swiss grenadiers, but I have grenades turned off. I can hit end turn for one more turn. We're going to have that army in Turin is going to sally out to try and prevent the fort from being destroyed. So we'll have spent maximum num the maximum number of turns. Ooh, okay. The Ottomans are moving. Attrition as we can possibly give. Pretty sure it's this turn. Oh my. Yeah, so they're attacking us. We're going to deploy defensive and actually be ready to uh, be ready to redeploy these guys. Uh, my whole Spain plan may go up and, and I may just be forced to open another front against the Ottoman. Huh. Okay, so let's try and do something similar to what we did before. Ooh, but this time we get we get entrenchments. Let's just do something like that. Maybe just the two. That you guys can have one of these. The other gun team like that. I'm grouping them just to make sure they are to make sure they are um, deployed or just so I know they're deployed which means we've got a lot to play with so it's a lot of spikes specifically to stack to make sure they don't we can't directly charge our artillery let's put one around here with spikes pretty sure there's one more yes Just to them like that, I suppose. Keep our cavalry deployed back. General back as well. Stretch our line out. These guys deploy back. And let's speed up time. Okay, their mortars are idle. They can't do. They can't do anything. So let's target our artillery to focus at their on their twelfth. Their um, eighteen pound of foot artillery. So target the Zimandari horsemen. They are going to hit our spikes, but I'd rather get some artillery shots on them just for my own satisfaction. <laughs> okay, retarget their guns. So in this force they got a much more shooty army than melee army. Here comes their mortar crews. Kind of shot this horse unit. But they are going to... Oh, that's going to be a lovely hit into my spikes. Oh, no, they've stopped. But they're getting hit by canister shot and all sorts of goodness. Okay, because we're about to have the cavalry, cavalry advantage, let's move one of my cavalry teams around to ready to hit their artillery and let's speed up time a little bit oh they're pulling back eh oh no they're just, they're just re just reconfiguring their line yeah just pound pound their, their horsemen Pull our cavalry back because they're clearly responding to it. OK, 
Okay, their cavalry is dancing back here. Their artillery is limbered up. They don't quite know what they're going to do with it. So that's a perfect target because one hit on the on the entire team knocks them all out. It's the general, but I'm still not quite sure. These guys are deployed behind the wall, so if they want to come after me, or behind these spikes, if they come straight at me, they're done for. Speed up time a little bit more. Let's fall back, because I suspect they're probably going to skirmish me. go. The Janissary is about to engage. Not to experience their first. Troops firing by rank. It's a lot of dead men. And they've routed. I hear the, I hear the bows. Eh, yeah, our gunfire's Musket fire is probably enough to deal with that. So I'm deliberately not charging. Now I'm going to charge. Too late, pals. Should have retrieved when you had the chance. Wavering and our guys have lost four hussars. They've lost a whole bunch of Zamindari horsemen. Come on, you dogs. Oh, yes, cavalry. You finally went for it. Ooh, some of them are going to die on the retreat, including their officer. Let's fire round shot and just keep shooting out there. Ooh, garrison mortar unit and artillery. Okay, let's actually move. Let's move a regiment of horse up there as well to support my artillery, my cavalry. Yeah, you're all doing nothing. Cavalry's got into range. Trouble is, though, awful lot of my cavalry's got into range. There we go. This unit of Janissaries is about to get torn a new one. The general's been killed. Probably from an errant artillery shell. So these guys go after the gunners. Can you, both of you guys, focus on this unit of Janissaries? Ooh, explosive shells are coming in. No need being, no need trying to be clever, because it's a city battle, so it's going to end, regardless of what happened. Bloody 
get both of these guys to go take out this water. It's, it's a really. He shattered them away. Just charge straight into them. Yeah, they've been killed. So it's just this cavalry against the last unit of infantry on the map. Yeah, let's end the battle there. It's a nice win. And the territory becomes ours, you swine. Although, I may immediately trade it away with peace, alliance, and trade with France. Because it solves a lot of my problems to get rid of that border, that enemy border to my west. It might cause me problems later on, but if I can tie the French into an alliance with it, They'll be okay with it. Let's rebuild the barracks. Let's build the walls. Destroy the madrasa. Well, actually, before I do any of that, let's see if I can even do my plans. Diplomacy. Major nation France. Just peace. Peace and trade. Okay, what if I present you a state gift of finest China? Peace and trade. Peace. Peace, trade, and a region, which is Savoy. And alliance. Nope, they don't want to bite. Let's build that, and let's knock down the madrasa. So we stop losing our Catholic Catholic ways. So you guys to fully replenish and we've got to keep an eye on these bad guys because they're sending the trouble is there if I exempt you guys from taxes and I move these guys out like you really okay. hate that so let's leave some cavalry behind Signore leave unit of guns behind on my weakest infantry In marcha. Avanti. So I would like to provide some support because <laughs> Venice is about to get hit from everywhere hmm. or I could give this region to someone else no, but if I give it to someone else, it, ju it just rebels. If I give it to someone else, all that happens is that it rebels and becomes Savoy again. What to do? What to do? Because you can obviously see the predicament that's, going that's happening over here. Or that's going to happen. We've got walls, but it very much depends if they... They're all full strength. I suppose the only way to do it is to do... something like this. And kind of do the opposite. How many men can I pull out of... out of um, Turin before causes trouble. So minus two. We can deal with minus two. We've managed to get to support the city four units of infantry and a cavalry unit. That's not bad. Let's probably go back to uh, go back to doing socket bayonet. Because minus two, they'll complain but they'll still they'll come back to us I was contemplating giving it to Britain that's where I started going hmm should I shouldn't I Ooh, the United Provinces are on the march if they took Paris that'd solve all my problems 
Okay, they're pulling back their armies. Good. As soon as we get walls built there, they can have as many goes as they like. Because I'll build some marines to help hold it. Once we're dug in, they're going to be in real trouble. So my... I'm very much going to have to treat this excursion over to um, Madrid as being secondary in my grand plan. And that is to... Yeah, see they're happy again. I don't want to build a church school. Eh? You're going to be just industry. Okay, diplomacy, France, peace, trade. Oh, you were so close. What about just peace? Peace and trade, and I'll pay you a grand. We better do something, because you're going to be... You're about to be attacked, matey boy. Okay, let's build a galley in the port to make sure they don't do anything silly. Let's move these troops back to Turin. Because the immediate danger has subsided. And we've got walls are on the way. Could put a drill school, get grenadier guards, and lots of good stuff. So you are plus 14 at the moment, and that should get a lot better. So I could get away with building a school here. For the time being, I could anyway. Then need to sail over and attack. Attack our old enemy. Because nowhere else quite makes... Ooh, okay. Cairo's got another city built up now. So you have three. Because it's a plantation. So. I could attack Cairo. Open up a second front. But then again, does that second front just result in me being more stretched out than them? Okay, the Prussians don't have actually any territory board in mine. Let's hit an end turn and see what happens. God, I've recorded a whole bunch of Italian episodes on the trot. Because this campaign's just been so interesting. I think I'm on... I think I'm on episode 19. Trevor, I need to go back to my raw footage folder and start renaming them all as, you know, Italy 16 part 1, part 2, and so on. Okay, Italy's going to start trying to... Spain's going to start trying to take out the Barbary States, which can be handy, because it means they will spend time... Or they'll, send, they'll have some troops away from us. Like, they won't be around to stop us. Their armies will be abroad. Not near to help them out. Although I've got to fear the Spanish Navy that will suddenly break out and start um, blockading everything when they have no ports. Good. Socket bayonet. We can need to build a classical university and upgrade that. Get a coke blast for... No, one turn to finish off spinning, Jenny. Okay, so this army here. Build up two guns. If I move my general out, I can probably... Okay, so you're getting two units of artillery. So you've got space for... General, two units of artillery, four infantry Signore, units. Let's get two units of marines. Obviously this is going to make my army upkeep go up by a lot, but not a lot I can do about that. Okay, so this guy's plus one management, treasury, plus one management overall, so he's flat, four star. Nope. 
Nope, nope, nope. Still won't do the trick. Okay, now I'm going to tax you to help pay for yourselves. We're on five grand a turn. Our estate's being blockaded. Peace and trade. Because I really don't want their army to march towards us. If they do, it might we might end up having to attack Paris instead. Which wouldn't necessarily be my preference. Genoa is slowly building up a giant conscript army. Awesome, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.